Hello everyone! Today we're going to be doing part two of the cochlear implant series. Many people have asked what is a cochlear implant and how does it work and I'll be explaining that today. So a cochlear implant is a device for deaf people who have a sensory neural hearing loss. Sensory neural hearing loss means that inside of your ear there is a cochlea that has hair cells moving inside of it. When sound goes through the ear and into the cochlea, those hairs move and send the signal to the brain. But if you have sensory neural hearing loss, those cells are either broken or missing. So you need something to replace those hair cells. Now I'm going to explain the cochlear implant and how it works. It has an external component that fits on the ear. So this right here is called the speech processor. And it has a microphone right here. So sound is picked up through the microphone and travels along to the part called the transmitter. And the transmitter has a magnet which can attach to your head. There's a magnet inside as well, so you have a surgery and it is implanted there. So inside there's a magnet and a receiver. Once the transmitter is on the head, the receiver sends a signal to the cochlea and instead of the hair cells, there are electrodes placed along the cochlea. So sound enters through goes to the cochlea, and it sends the signals to the brain. So that was a very short explanation of what goes on. Really, it's complex, and I could go into depth, but that was the short version. So the cochlear implant is surgically implanted with the receiver and the electrodes. Once that's done, later you make an appointment with an audiologist and they will adjust and change certain things to help match each deaf person's individual needs. For example, they can change the different frequencies to help hear high or low frequencies better, things like that. Audiologists can also put different programs to help hear better. For example, there is a noise reduction program. If you enter a restaurant and it's really loud and there's people talking everywhere, you can have a program that switches that helps reduce that background noise and it's quieter so you can focus on that person you're talking with. Now, me personally, I prefer not to change the programs. I prefer to stay on one. And that's because I grew up hearing everything. Now, there's new technology that allows you to change the program to help. I was overwhelmed by that change and it was weird and strange for me. My deaf cousin, she's deaf with the cochlear implant too. She's the exact same as me. She prefers not to change the program and keep it on that one. I know it can help if a baby is implanted and grows up with the new programs and new technology that baby is used to the different programs that change and it can actually help the deaf baby here and as they're growing up but me I'm stubborn and I prefer to stay on the one program and hear everything. I like being able to hear the background, even if it means it's harder to hear. People ask 
Do you hear the same as a normal hearing person? Honestly, I don't know. I have no idea. I've never heard normal hearing, so I don't know if what I hear is close to normal hearing or if it's far and very different. I don't know. I know that it's different. It's not the same, but I honestly don't know. People also ask, do you hear a robotic voice? And that is not true. I can hear a wide variety of different sounds. I can notice if a woman or male voice is speaking. People also ask me if I enjoy listening to music. And yes, I enjoy listening, but I know that it's different experience for me hearing music it's not the same many people really enjoy music but sure i enjoy listening to it if i'm bored it's really hard to hear words in songs the lyrics so if i hear a song i like i'll look up the words and read the lyrics so i can enjoy the song better i also have Bluetooth, which connects with my implant and phone so I can hear the music directly in my head, which is pretty cool. I can listen to music and other people have no idea I'm listening to music, but that is really helpful and it makes it more clear. It's really nice. With the cochlear implant, there are challenges as well as benefits. Some challenges include it's not the same as normal hearing. It's actually really hard to hear. I still need to lip read. I still need to have eye contact and have them speak loud and clear. So it's tough. Um, another reason it's really exhausting trying to hear every day. Often I come home and I'm just exhausted and done. I'm just exhausted from hearing. It's hard. Another thing is I can't scuba dive. I just can't. The pressure underwater is too much. Another thing is I can't have an MRI. The new technology is compatible with the MRIs, but my device is too old and is not compatible with MRIs. So there are many challenges that come with cochlear implants, but there are also benefits. One of them is I can hear. It's wonderful technology and I'm so grateful I'm able to hear well. It's also nice that I can take it off and put it on whenever I want. Sometimes I'm sick of hearing and I'm just done and I can take it off and have it be peaceful and quiet and have no sound. So that's nice to be able to take it on or off depending on what I prefer. Another benefit is I'm more involved with the hearing world. It's nice being able to meet other hearing people. It's really a nice benefit. So yes, it has challenges and benefits, but there's many on both sides of it. So I explained my experience and my story about my cochlear implant. I know that some cochlear implants for some people don't work the same as mine. Sometimes the internal part breaks or it's not as successful. I don't know. Really depends on so many different factors. Like when, how old you were when you got it, your upbringing, your background, if you signed beforehand or not. There's many different reasons why the cochlear implant is successful or not as successful. There's just a balance. So that is my story with the cochlear implant and my experience. I hope you enjoyed this video about my explanation of a cochlear implant and I hope you were able to learn something new. This again was part two of the cochlear implant series so don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos soon about cochlear implants. Thanks, bye!